The West Ashley Greenway and Bikeway, a hot topic tonight as the Charleston Park Conservancy invited the public to give their input in an interactive design meeting. News News Deanne Roberts attended that meeting West Ashley and tells us what changes could be on the way. Everybody ready? With voting clickers in their hands and ideas curating in their minds, many people gathering at the schoolhouse in West Ashley were ready to give their input on how to improve the West Ashley Greenway and Bikeway, especially those that use it every day. So I use the Greenway every day to go to work. We walk it just about three times a week. The Charleston Parks Conservancy says the meeting was specifically catering to those people. We want to hear from the public about what they would like to see here. And that's exactly what happened. The Charleston Parks Conservancy and a team of experts presented a West Ashley Greenway and Bikeway Master Plan Monday night. The project started in May with a two-day site visit. On that visit, experts found a few things that needed to be fixed, like a way to cross the Ashley River or lack of lighting, shade, and Paving. So while presenting design ideas, people who use the public spaces voted on what they would like to see. I want to make sure that crossing safety is a priority and that crossing safety is standardized. I definitely want there to be lighting so that we can use the Greenway more often. Other ideas included water stations, restrooms, places to sit, and more. After providing input and asking questions, people got to write out their ideas on the idea wall and pick new features they would prefer, a method that's making the people that use these green spaces happy. I like participating in the process. And I appreciate the opportunity to share what I'm thinking, what I want to see in the community. You can participate in further meetings to see about the ideas about the West Ashley Greenway and Bikeway come to fruition by attending an open design studio Tuesday through Thursday from 10 a.m. to 6 p.m. and a work in progress presentation that will be held on Thursday at the schoolhouse at 630. Reporting in studio tonight, Deanne Roberts, Count on Two.